can still see, Zach, that there's a lot of snow on the ground there. Yeah, and uh, you still got some slush there. Crews have been doing a great job. Uh, as the sl snowfall rates slow down, temperatures right at freezing or even a degree or above, and ground temperatures a little warm, uh, are able to uh, melt some of that snow. Again, wet roads will definitely help melt the snowfall, especially as it slows down. So this is some of the best we've seen. This was snow covered at a time, but the snowfall rates have slowed down. There are scattered, heavier bursts of band that can uh, bands uh, around the area that can you know fill that back in some. Even seeing the snow, the, uh, the parking lot go from completely snow covered to now more of a slushy mix. So watch that again, that slush, it can look a little clear as it starts to melt a little bit, but it could still be a little slippery for you on those sidewalks. And then again, in those uh, parking lots So if you, uh, maybe you're just heading into work a little delayed or school a little delayed. You can still have some slick spots out there. Even the median for a time was completely snow covered just because it's looking a little darker. Now that slush is still there. So you might go into one of those medians a little fast and you can slide a little bit. It is patchy slush covered roads, mostly Benton County. Uh, and then as you get further south, there's some patchy slush there in parts of Washington, Madison and Carroll counties, but it's a lot more wet roads across the area. We've had those bursts of snow come in and come out, but we've still got more uh, of snow potential for the next few hours. Lower 30s overall around that freezing mark. Northwest Arkansas, look at the difference here. Temperatures upper 30s, low 40s in the River Valley. The further west you go, Stigler, you're getting more into those mid 30s. So it's a little bit colder. There's right there in uh, Haskell, Latimer, LaFleur counties. We're seeing it bounce back and forth between some rain, some snow, some snowflakes mixing in, especially in the higher elevations. And those really show up well on radar. You see there, uh, that's one of those ridges of the Washitals. So you're going to get some snow, higher elevations of the Washitals. I think in the River Valley, you're going to get some snow uh, flakes to mix in, but you're going to get uh, a lot of rain and you're going to get it to melt a lot, especially with temperatures around 40 degrees. It's going to melt very quick. I think the roads will stay just wet. At best, you could get a little dusting on a grassy surface or a rooftop. Uh, again, better snow chances as you head up I-49 and certainly better chances for it to accumulate. Again, here in the gaps, you're going to get at least some flurries where you see the darker color showing up. That's where you've got lower visibility and you've got a better chance for slush uh, to develop, especially look there. See how it's just kind of sitting over the same areas and you get on uh, Highway 59 there from Solomon Springs north through Gentry, Decatur, Gravit. You're going to get more slush there. We've got slush covered roads as you head up towards uh, Pea Ridge, around Bella Vista, over towards Garfield. And then as you get down towards the south, we've seen lighter snow through the morning, but heavier snow starting to pick up in the Boston Mountains. A little closer look here. Definitely going to see more snow, slush-covered roads, Highway 59, where we've been seeing that steady to heavy snowfall coming down a little bit longer. Bella Vista, you're going to have some slushy roads. We've seen the slushy roads with our tower cams around the Bentonville area. Snow's a little bit lighter for us right now. We've got slush being reported scattered around parts of Rogers. We'll definitely see that slush picking up on Highway 220 there in the mountains, northern uh, Crawford County into southern Washington County. We've got some light snow going to keep the roads wet right now in um, Crawford and Washington counties there on I-49. If the snow can pick up a little heavier, you can get some more slush to develop. Heavy snow just passing through the Cedarville area. You get south into the River Valley, lower levels. You've got more rain with some snowflakes mixing in. Look at the snow and the heavy rain there just to the north of I-40. You've got more snow and rain mixing together for south Uh, you get north there, Highway 101, some heavy snow coming down up towards Brushy there as well. Further south, some snow on the ridges, a mix of rain snow. We're going to see a lot more rain, I-40 south, as we go through the morning hours. Now through 8, 9 o'clock, it's the best chance to get these scattered heavy bursts. Everything is going to continue to shift off towards the east. Late morning, early afternoon, it breaks up, but some flurries will be possible with sprinkles possible, more river valley south. Again, that's late morning, uh, 10, 11 a.m. to around lunchtime and then beyond that we'll continue with a light precip chance but again the best chance for snow to be heavy enough to give you some slick spots will be now through 8 9 a.m. beyond that it'll be a lot lighter temperatures will be warm and you'll just get a lot of wet roads the last flurries and sprinkles wrap up uh, one two three o'clock and then we'll look for skies to clear upper 30s low 40s for highs northwest arkansas look at mother nature giving us a snowstorm on a monday morning but showing us some love on Wednesday. You got to love that. 60s, look at the River Valley. We could have 60s and maybe even some 70s showing up, especially down towards southeast Oklahoma. We will get another front to come in as we get into the late week uh, weekend time frame, and that'll bring some cooler air with it. Maybe a chance of some showers on Friday.